for the next part is the sunscreen. Remember, uh, whenever you you go out or anything, right? You have to apply sunscreen to protect from the UV rays, right? Uh -huh. uh, so the sunscreen we have like uh, what chemical sunscreen and, and physical sunscreen. yeah physical sunscreen. So we have this type of the sunscreen. So uh, you have to choose out which one is better for your face. Okay, we have some sunscreen which is quite suitable for sensitive skin as well so you can just go and look for it like for me right uh, I'm using this uh, Madagascar Centella Skin Wall for Air Fit Sun Cream and this sun cream it really works well when you apply on your face right you can see that uh, it doesn't really has any white cast and it absorbs also like quite fast you don't feel like you have things on your face like I apply some of the sunscreen like previously I tried one collagen sunscreen after you apply you feel like there's a layer of thing like not to say protect lah but it's like just cover your face mm -hmm. so I don't really like the feeling, feeling they're not light lah yeah not so light but for this one right it really works well when I apply it and then it absorb and then that's all you already apply sunscreen but you don't feel like any bourbon on your face it's mm. a proper bourbon right? so. wow Okay. So, high level <laughs> So you don't feel like anything on your face, you don't feel pressure la, after you use the sunscreen. Like even after the whole day, some of the sunscreen they will start like uh, melt patchy. Yeah, yeah, patchy like starts to get oily also mm -hmm. sometimes. But this one like for the whole day, it doesn't really get oily. Plus I apply makeup, right? If I apply this sunscreen before my makeup, it really is like uh, work very very good together with my foundation. Mm -hmm. It really works like my base. Me, that. Yeah, it, it is like the base. Like my uh, foundation just stick to my face, not like floating up, right? Mm -hmm. Floating up. <laughs> just <laughs> not, <laughs> Yeah. So it doesn't. It really sticks to my face. It helps the foundation to stick on my face as well. So mm -hmm. this sunscreen is like the uh, the one I currently using now, now, which is like my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mine, I want to be the best seller <laughs> It's just that so many people have been buying it, trying it and we've been restocking it and it's running out of stock so fast every time so I just had to try this one and I happened to fall in love with this sunblock because I'm not a fan of yeah, it's wrong. Salah you got that much sunblock and it's very important yeah. for you to wear it but sometimes I'm guilty of not wearing it but since I pakai this unscented uh, sunblock is called the Centella Green Level Unscented Sunblock it's SPF is 50 plus PA plus 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 plus, uh -huh. plus. this one I suka because uh, it absorbs into my skin and then you put muka I nampak macam uh, shiny sikit but it's not the point yet sampai I tak suka tapi you nampak macam cantik lah Cantik lah skin macam cantik kan? So no colour right? One. No, this one is uh, Dia tak ada tint Maybe Oh, yeah. dia tak ada tint It's like cream Cream type Cream colour kan? Tapi dia tak ada tint And it's unscented That one is so, Safe lah Yeah, safe that is why also I suka Because You know like right, normal sunblock It has that sunblock smell to it It's yang Sangat mengganggu Yang dia melekat dekat muka The smell kan? So I don't like that So I like that unscented sunblock uh, and then one more like I've tried the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sunblock as well that one works when I have dry dry oh, skin so occasionally uh -uh, occasionally try important tip if you're wearing sunblock if you're wearing you must wear sunblock but it's an important thing that you must know how much sunblock do you use so it's a two finger uh, rule yeah can can show them how to apply you show sure, lah uh, satu panjang panjang push. Yeah, so just two like this, two finger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then so, normally what I do lah, I just like put it on my palm, do it on my face. Or sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit like uh, just apply on my face, mm -hmm. and then then yeah, I absorb. Because I sometimes I use cotton as well. Uh, it's not cotton, eh? Beauty Spine. blender, uh, yeah. Beauty blender. Use the beauty blender to blend it all over my face to show to so that it is like more Equal, equal lah. Yeah. Equal. So I pakai like two two strips kan on the finger. Uh, sometimes it's little bit sikit, okay? 
Like just one little bit sikit So I let I use one finger first I apply And let it absorb for a while Then I apply the second layer to it lah So that it tak Even though it tak ada white cast Tapi bila sapu tu dia terasa lah Tebal dia kan You can feel it's a heavy Heavy weight of the Cream itself Of the sunblock itself But if you let the first First layer to absorb And then the second layer You wait uh, just, you just apply while. and you just go do a thing, come back mm-hmm. and then reapply again. Uh, and then it absorbs, absorbs really well lah. Mm-hmm. And then also a tip that you wear your sunblock 20 minutes before you go out mm-hmm. and then you have to reapply your sunblock whenever you're out in the sun. Uh, at least 2-3 hours once, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think but I think Malaysian is not going to follow 2-3 hours once mm-hmm. lah. Yeah. It's just like weekday. Yeah, yeah midday. just reapply your sunscreen in the midday mm-hmm. and then at night, please remember to do double cleansing if you apply sunblock. Mm-hmm. Double cleansing like we said earlier lah kan, it's about sunblock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you clog your pores, if, 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 if you didn't really wash. Because uh-uh. oh. its um, function is to protect yourself from the UV rays kan. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. in that sense, you, you do have to double cleanse lah mm-hmm. to make sure it's all taken off from your face before. To clean, to clean it properly. Mm-hmm. Okay.